Welcome, everybody. We're here at Bank of America Arena in Seattle, Washington. What a game we have in store for us today. The New Jersey Institute of Technology go up against the Washington Huskies. Hi there. Along with Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist. Coach Romar looks determined as he leads his troops into battle today. Bill, Coach Romar always puts entertaining teams on the floor, Vern. He is an offensive mastermind, and he has numerous schemes to use to put points on the board. We'll see some fireworks from them. Coach Dempsey is going over his game plan on the other side. Bill, Coach Dempsey is a tough coach to read, Vern. He's always ready to switch things up from game to game just to keep the opposing team from getting a good scouting report. We'll see what he has up his sleeve today. So those are the coaches. Now let's take a look at the players. Appleby should be a central part of the game plan today. Appleby is an exceptional shooting guard. He's absolutely deadly from three-point range. You can't let him get those open looks. Magnus could be a crucial piece of the puzzle on the other side. Magnus is a tremendous shooting guard as well. This guy has such a will to win. He plays the game with joy, and he never stops working to improve. Thanks, Bill. It looks like we're ready for the tip-off. The Highlanders control the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. Dumps it off. Number 11 has picked up his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Pass, left side. Backs down. Stolen by number 11. You've got to squeeze it. He didn't do a very good job of protecting the ball there. Dumps it off. Dumps it off. Bounces off the left rim and out. The New Jersey Institute of Technology carries it up. We've got a tie ball game here. Appleby intercepted the pass. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson, who has some info for us. Vern, earlier today I spoke with Coach Dempsey. Guys, he told me the important thing to remember is newspapers don't win basketball games. He knows all the members of the media have said they should dominate this game, but he and his players know it isn't that easy. And they prepare for this game just like every other. Thank you, Tracy. That was a tough shot. You've got to try to find a better look than that. Appleby passes it to the outside. Launches one from beyond the arc. Number 11 grabs the rebound inside. Nice little pump fake. But the layup was off the mark by number 11. The Highlanders bring it up the court. About eight and a half minutes left in the half. Pass, baseline. Ruckman has picked up his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Takes it in. Lays it right in. Dumps it off. Pass, right side. Brockman passes to the right wing. Appleby, pump fakes. Nice pump fake to set up the three by Appleby. I'm not sure that's the shot they wanted. But as long as it goes down, they'll take it. The Highlanders carry it up. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. Lays it up and in. They're in a 2-3 zone with minimum principles. They'll try and shut down those passing lanes. Number 11 passes it to the left side. Behind the arc. Bruckman yanks it down inside. Good job on the layup by Bruckman. No way he was coming up empty when he got the ball that close to the rim. 
The Highlanders bring it up. Just over seven minutes left in the half. Sails in. Gently drops it in. Number 12. Dumps it off. Gives the up fake. With the teardrop. Finishes in close. Those runners are difficult to hit, but he really made it look easy. The Highlanders carry it up. They're down 9-6. to six. Magnus dumps it inside. It's stolen by Denton. Intercepted by Peters. Pass, far side. It's stolen by Poindexter. Dentman leads the break. Dumps it off. Shoots. Knocks down the shot after using the up fake. The Highlanders take their first time out of the game. Timeout on the floor. The Highlanders will bring out some reserves. The New Jersey Institute of Technology with the ball. Just over six minutes left in the half. Number 12 passes to the left wing. Peters backs in from 18 feet away. Peters grabs it. Can't convert the layup. Tries again. Gets the lay-in. The Huskies take it up court. And it's a three-point game from downtown gets it to go even against an average score the defense has to be more aware absolutely Vern dumps it off tries to post him up the tough shot off the front rim and out Brockman tries to back down. Brockman feeds it down low. From the corner. Doesn't go. He can't be happy with that miss. With all the room he had, he's got to make that shot. Dumps it off. Epps skips it down low. it off the glass at him. The lay-in with the soft kiss. The Huskies bring the ball up. They lead 14 to 10. Reeled in by Peters. That's his third rebound of the contest. The Highlanders with the ball. They're shooting 55% from the field. Epps passes it to the baseline. Picked off by Dentman. That's his second steal of the contest. He nabs it. Yes, sir. That's how you make the steal, Bill. Anytime you're not protecting the ball, you're leaving yourself open to get pickpocketed. Passes cross court. Launches one from beyond the arc. Sinks it. The Highlanders call time. The Huskies will look to the bench to bring a little more energy here. The Highlanders will make some substitutions. The Highlanders bring it up the court. They're five for nine from the floor. Dumps it off. Puts it up. Can't connect from the wing. He just didn't look comfortable on that shot, Fern, and you can see it in the result. Dentman passes it to the right side. Shoots from the post. Number 11 snatches the rebound. 
Poindexter picked off that pass for a second steal of the contest. Collected inside by number 11. Count that last lay-in by number 11. The New Jersey Institute of Technology brings it up. They're down by nine. Crosses it over. Dumps it off. From the right block, right in the bottom of the bucket. Oh, yes, Fern, that is pretty password. The Huskies with the ball. 2.58 left in the first half. For three. Got it. The New Jersey Institute of Technology takes it up court. They're shooting 54% from the field. Smith has picked up his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Backs down with the hook shot. Stonkis pulls it in. That's going to be goaltending. There was too much defensive pressure on him to take it to the tin with ease. The Huskies are making a few lineup changes. Washington carries it up. They're leading by eight. They're playing a 2-3 zone for trying to take away their low post and force some jump shots. Over to checks in for the first time. The Highlanders bring it up the court. They're seven for 13 from the field. Dumps it off. Number 11 backs in. Number 11 passes it to the outside. Two minutes remaining. Garris dumps it to the middle, tries to back him in. The runner? Yes! Washington brings it up. 148 left in the first half. Overton swings it to the right side. To the bucket. Number 11 reels it in. I thought we were going to see a little kiss for the deuce, Fern. I'm not sure what happened. Garris lobs it inside. Shoots the turnaround. Bricks it off the back of the rim. Fires it way up court. Garris read that pass and picked it off. To the rack. Pretty pass by number 11. Washington with the ball. They're shooting 66% from beyond the arc. Smith dishes it down low. The Highlanders carry it up. And it's a four-point game. Dish inside. Stonkus tries to post him up. From 20 feet out, tickles the twine. Peter. Let that man loose and he will drill the deuce. Not exactly lockdown defense. Washington takes it up court. They'll try to end this run. Nine second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The two handed jam finished by Gant. Electrifying. Gant. Send it in, Burn. The New Jersey Institute of Technology carries it up. 26 seconds left in the first half. Pass, right side. Backs him down. With the runner, too strong. Lays it right in. That takes us to halftime with the score 26 to 20.
Now it's time to bring you our play of the half. Bill? Well, it's hard to say you couldn't see this coming, Vern. There's such a gulf of talent between these teams. The Huskies are in control. Appleby has been just deadly, Vern. The hoop must look five feet wide to him right now because it doesn't seem like he's missing anything. Inside or out, he's been an offensive force. Absolutely on fire. There you have it, the player of the half. Brockman inbounds it to start the second half. Overton passes to the left block. With the floater, Stonkis has it. And that's his fourth rebound thus far. Tracy Wolfson has some extra info for us. At halftime, I caught up with Coach Dempsey. He said that he wasn't content with the lead they built and thought they could do some things differently in the second half. I asked Coach what he was going to do to stop the inside scoring, and he said that he had no other choice than to double the post. He said that by running two guys at players, the team could slow down the scoring in the paint. Thank you, Tracy. Pass inside. Stonkus backs him down. Swiped by Overton. A little too much activity down there, and he forgot to squeeze it. Always protect the ball, Vern. Offensive rebound grabbed by Holiday. The layup missed by Holiday. The New Jersey Institute of Technology with the ball. They're 10 for 19 for the game. Dumps it off. Goes up. Smith corrals the miss inside. Well, the D did a nice job of disrupting him a little bit. That's tough work down low. Dumps it off. The tough shot. It falls short. The New Jersey Institute of Technology brings it up. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. The lay-in was good by number two. The Huskies will take their first time out. The Huskies will get the rest of their starters back on the court. Washington takes it up court. They're shooting 47% for the game. From deep. Nope. Grab that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Peters passes to the top of the key. Number 12 passes it to the left block. Appleby picked it off back there, and that's his second steal of the contest. Takes it in. Finishes in close. The New Jersey Institute of Technology carries it up. An eight-point differential. Number 12. Nice little crossover. Grab by number 12. With the second effort, can't convert the layup. Flipped it up and out. His team really needs him to hit that. Brockman passes to the right block. What a pretty assist on the play by Brockman. The Highlanders call timeout. Timeout on the floor. Number 12 brings it up court. He's shooting 50% from the floor. To the rack. Number 11 snatches the offensive rebound. Tries to lay it in, but it doesn't go. Flipped it up and out. His team really needs him to hit that. No good on the three by Appleby. To the rim. Botches the lay-in. The Highlanders bring it up. Just over seven minutes left in the second half. Stonkus skips it to the outside. Goes to the crossover. Pass, left wing. The shot clock's running down. Shoots it. Not there from 19. Missed it, and no wonder. That's not his shot. A bit of an offensive liability if he continues to put it up from there. 
The New Jersey Institute of Technology brings it up. They're desperately trying to find a way to score. Magnus passes it to the wing. Tries to back him in. The inside shot buried by Stunkus. Terrific job to get that one down with the kiss. Washington takes it up court. An eight-point differential. Uses the glass and it goes in. Sweetness. They gave him a look and paid for it. The Highlanders take it up court. Right around six minutes left in the second half. From deep, Bruckman gets the rebound. Tosses it up court. Dentman skips it to the right side. Poindexter with the pump fake. The stuff by Stunkus. Oh, look at that. Tremendous defensive help. Great job picking up the shooter. Dumps it off. The tough shot. Dentman grabs the rock. Fires it way up court. Dumps it off. Cross court. The Huskies touched it last, right before it went out of bounds. The New Jersey Institute of Technology calls timeout. The Highlanders get the starters a little breather, so they'll go to their bench for fresh legs. The tray was missed by Peters. The defense was up to the challenge on that shot. Good job closing on the shooter. Thrown down by Poindexter. Number 12 brings it up. He's got eight points. Pass, top of the key. Number 12 passes to the right side. Dixon tries to back down. The runner. Defensive foul. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Pulled in by Gamp. Gamp swings it to the top of the key. Pump fakes from downtown. Bangs off the side of the rim and out. The New Jersey Institute of Technology with the ball. They're behind 36 to 25. The layup flipped in by Peters. The Huskies bring the ball up. They're four for nine from downtown. Dentman lobs it to the middle. Dentman skips it to the wing. Dumps it off. Goes up. Hits the layup after the pump fake freezes the D. As a defender, you've got to try and cut him off before he gets to that point. Oh, Vern, they switch from a zone to... Dixon uses the crossover. Backs in. From downtown. Defense. Missed it. Dixon has picked up his first foul That's of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Holliday is coming onto the floor. The Highlanders are going to bring all their starters back out there now. Dumps it off. Glides in. Lays it right in. Number 13. 
number 12, brings it up the floor. He's four for 10 from the field. Dumps it off. Dentman intercepted the pass. Dentman dishes to the middle. The finisher finishes with the soft touch. Getting in tight, just a great entry feed. The New Jersey Institute of Technology with the ball. 2.44 left in the game. The crossover. Graceful finish. Number 12. Washington carries it up. They should slow it down and use some clock. Holiday dishes it down low. Fires from the wing. A bit long, but it gets the kind roll. What a great shooter. All he needs is a sliver of space, and he'll make you pay. The Highlanders carry it up. They're losing by 15. Two minutes remaining. Peters backs down. Shoots the turnaround. Number 11 scoops it up. The tough shot flips it in for two. Number 12 brings it up the floor. He's 5 for 11 for the game. Throws up. Number 11 corrals it, and that's his fifth rebound in this one. Missing layups are going to get him a quick trip to the bench, Fern. The Huskies turn this one over out of bounds. The Huskies are going to make some substitutions. They're down big. Sails in. Camp grabs the rebound inside. There's nothing he can do but shake his head on that one and move on. Shoots from the corner. Sinks it. Justin Denver. The New Jersey Institute of Technology brings it up. 58 seconds left in the game. Number 12 passes it to the corner. Peters passes to the left block. Tries to lay it in, but it doesn't go. Washington takes it up court. They're on a 16 to five run. He's double teamed. Eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Reeled in by Denton, and that's his third rebound of the contest. Peters brings it up. He's shooting 29% for the game. Dentman passes it down low. Holiday gives a little pump fake. Holiday passes it to the left block. Holiday, nice little crossover. From about 19 feet, gets it to four. That's the end of the game. The Huskies blow out the Highlanders, 50 to 29. It wasn't the most competitive game I've seen. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac game-changing performance. Hi everyone, welcome to the 2K Sports Studios. It's time for today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Nothing gets into the head of an opponent more than a highlight reel jam, the Husky were dominant on the inside today, and that made all the difference. This thunderous jam tells you all you need to know. What a sensational finish. This dunk will definitely wind up on the team's highlight reel. And there's your Pontiac game-changing performance for today. On behalf of Pontiac and all of us here at the 2K Studios, I'm Greg Gumbel. Now, let's go back to Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. 
We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.